Hello YouTube, this is Sean the Divine Diva coming at you with my NACA Journey Reboot update video number 11. When I last spoke to you, my very first offer had been accepted and I was preparing to go to my inspection. And so today is Wednesday, happy hump day or happy peak of the week. Um, I said peak of the week now. It's more positive. So I had my inspection on Monday, uh, late afternoon, early evening. It took about two, two and a half hours, somewhere in that neighborhood. And my inspector was phenomenal. I mean, great job. Uh, shout out to 330 Inspections out of Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, Mr. Al traveled uh, about two hours, two and a half hours uh, to inspect my property. He serviced my area. I was so excited and really it was a godsend. So that happened on Monday. Went through the entire property and I will share some of those uh, photos and video footage with you. Um, but just kind of want to tell you what has happened since then. So first of all, again, Mr. Al was so professional. He was timely. I already have received my inspection report. Yeah, I was not expecting to have that until today, really, midweek. And so that report was in my box at 12.35 a.m. Tuesday morning. Um, he did tell me, hey, you'll see the report either tonight or early in the morning. And so, you know, I just kind of had a piece about the situation when I went to work on Tuesday, I didn't even rush to my web file um, as normal because, you know, I'm just, you know, I've been so obsessive lately and I was just trying to give myself a breather. Um, I believe I mentioned to you that the only outstanding things I had were this uh, inspection, the reports, and also an updated uh, letter from my student loan provider, um, which I was told last week would take three to five days. So I anticipated having both of these items completed uh, by today, Wednesday. And let me tell you something. God worked the thing out again. How about I got my student loan letter on Monday? <laughs> Monday about midday or so, maybe mid-morning even. Um, I'm going to say about midday. That letter came early. They told me three to five days on Friday and here it was in my inbox on Monday so that was such a blessing everything's been turned into my MC and now uh, my file has been you know submitted um, I guess is what you call you know the credit access piece where it's being reviewed make sure all the documents are in alignment um, with the bank so it's in bank submission and um, man, my nerves. I am not a naturally anxious person, um, but it has been so interesting um, just going through this whole process. You can be as cool and as calm and as collected, but you know, it's a big deal buying a home. But I am so excited. I can't wait to uh, show you just some of the, the snippets of the footage. Um, no major, not a lot of major things rather on my inspection report there was one item that was of concern that is already being repaired like the seller is so awesome they have already um, started addressing some of the minor things that we identified when I first looked at the home like for example I mentioned in the video doorknobs or um, a light switch um, for the bathroom um, there was a situation where the fan was still on that had already been um, fixed when I got there uh, for the inspection. Um, we turned on water, or rather, I should say, Mr. Al of 330 Inspections turned on, um, you know, all the faucets, ran all the water. Um, I was able to actually get multiple inspections um, through this company. So not only did I get the regular home inspection, I also got the WDO, which is the Wood Destroying Organisms or Termite Inspection. Um, and also there was a wind mitigation, which is super helpful because you can also get a discount on your homeowner's insurance. Um, I'll list the different um, inspection um, pieces that were included in my package. 
I'm again very professional comprehensive report complete with color pictures um, the report itself was hyperlinked so if you looked at the table of contents it was listed um, the different pages were listed or sections and you click on that link and it takes you to the page I love that I love that so that's the kind of thing that I try to embed in uh, my work um, day to day so I was super excited so not only did he do a comprehensive inspection inside and out just gave me some great feedback on the home itself things to look out for things to consider and I have to plug the fact that he has already had extensive experience working with NACA and NACA clients and was very instrumental in making sure um, you know our process moved very quickly so he had uploaded the inspection to the profile through you know his vendor portal and sent me and my realtor a copy so it was just like fantastic um to to get this feedback from him and to have this comprehensive report so i'm going to insert some things in just a moment and um leave me some comments tell me you're excited have a good one bye Okay, uh, so today is inspection day. I'm getting ready to go inside. A contract is already here and ready to go.
a little dark in here. I have to add more lighting. Pretty big in here. Got our master inspector on deck, making sure everything is everything. Mr. Al Etheridge came all the way from Jacksonville, Florida, doing things, 3.30 inspection. Whew. Listen, listen, listen. I'm gonna love this right here, I'm just trying to tell you. This all me right here. So, there's a handyman on the way to come fix some of the things that they already know, some of the minor things like some doorknobs, situation with a little fan. There was a fan in the other bathroom that wouldn't turn off. Nothing too crazy. This is a little low for me. Now y'all know I'm a shorty, so this gonna have to raise up a little bit. That's a little too low to me for anybody. I'm 5'3", so that's an easy fix. It's beautiful though. Two-car garage. Let's see, if we can get a little extra two-car garage. We can get about four cars in the driveway. Family.